Alrighty folks, welcome back to an all new covered bridge episode of Maxim Outdoors here. And we might possibly be at the most historical and important covered bridge in all of Pennsylvania right now, Sachs Covered Bridge. At least one gentleman referred to it as uh, being the most historical bridge in the entire state. So we're staying along Marsh Creek here. And uh, as always, I'll be taking you inside, giving you a little tour and telling you some history here that uh, took place at this bridge, including a, uh, a local ghost story. So uh, let's go in and check it out, what he said. Just a quick look from the other side of the bridge here as Sam and I taking some views along Marsh Creek. And if you are a little curious about the history here, at Sachs Bridge. Of course, we're here in Gettysburg. This might be the most popular bridge in the entire state. Both Union and Confederate troops cross this during the Civil War. And uh, if you want to know a little bit about the ghost story, supposedly there's two versions of it. Three traitors from the uh, Confederate side or three uh, deserters basically were caught trying to run away from the battle. And uh, legend has it that all three of them were hung from these beams here for all the other Confederate soldiers to uh, to walk by and, and see kind of uh, as a warning, like, hey, if you desert your post, this is what's gonna happen to you. So a lot of rumors, a lot of legend, a lot of lore states that if uh, you come here at nighttime, you might run into uh, an orb or two, or if you get really lucky, you might even see, you know, a man hanging from the beam. Well, I don't know if you wanna call that lucky, but you might see somebody hanging from the beam, believe it or not. So. We're gonna walk on through. It's a little little legend for you out there if you are into ghost stories, but uh, Saks Bridge is, is full of them. That's just one, one of many ghost stories here. So let's take a walk through the bridge here. Well, I believe this is covered bridge number five for the channel and we talk about the truss systems out of all the covered bridges that we've run into so far. I think the last three that we uh, checked out in Washington County were all the uh, Howe truss system. Well, this is uh, a bit different. This is something known as the town truss and uh, kind of the main identifier for that is this lattice kind of crisscross method that they used with these, uh, they're like four by tens almost that uh, reinforce this bridge. So this is something called the town truss. The first time that we've seen it so far on this channel. So pretty cool to see that. Another thing is uh, we, I think have drove across every single covered bridge that we've done a video on. Unfortunately, that's gonna end today. This uh, bridge was closed to traffic back in 1968. A big storm apparently came through uh, Marsh Creek here and knocked this bridge off of its uh, abutments. And uh, I believe since then, they've closed it down to traffic. So unfortunately, no driving across this one, but uh, hey, maybe we'll get lucky and see, you know, a Confederate soldier apparition hanging from one of these beams here. All right. Just a beautiful spring day out here, April 3rd, as we take a look around Marsh Creek and another look at Sachs Covered Bridge, the bridge known to be severely haunted from uh, a couple websites that I read. A couple other little tidbits of information that I didn't already mention. This bridge was built back in 1854 and spans Marsh Creek, of course, 100 feet long. And uh, I will say the last time I was here, this is uh, all wooded area. I know Gettysburg is, uh, really trying to restore what this area looked like back during the battle. So I guess they cut down all the, the woods that were here and replanted probably with native uh, species of, of trees and whatnot. I don't know, maybe it has to do with the, uh, the water plant there in the background, but yeah, nice view. I think this is probably the nicer 
the nicer side of uh, the bridge. Definitely get that uh, nice shot for the thumbnail here. You can see Sam there in the distance on our last day here in Gettysburg before heading back to Western PA. So we'll do one more walk through the bridge and uh, I'll tell you a little bit more history. So let's go. All right, well, this is probably my fourth or fifth time here at Saks Cover Bridge. And as you can see, they do a really nice job at keeping this uh, pretty pristine area, even wheelchair accessible. I doubt uh, too many covered bridges can, can claim that. Last time I was here, they didn't have this placard, but uh, just tells you all about uh, General Lee and how his troops crossed this bridge, the uh, architect David Stoner, how they built the bridge back in the 1800s. So uh, I'll just give you a slow pan here and if you want to pause and read this have at it probably does a better job than uh, me at explaining this bridge so yeah we're gonna head on through now so yeah imagine being a confederate soldier and walking up upon this bridge to see three of your comrades hanging from a beam here it would probably be a pretty awful sight to see i'm sure the union troops after the battle came down here seen the uh their fellow brothers hanging from the beam and kind of questioned what happened but like i said the rumor is that they were either spies or they were uh basically running away from the battle so unfortunately those three men lost their lives here and uh supposedly still haunt this area to this day Well, I'll go on the record and state that I'm not a big believer, really, at all, when it comes to ghosts and spirits. I'll put that out there. But, you know, if there would be a haunted place, I would say this would uh, definitely be up there. So, if you can imagine back in the 1800s, during the Civil War, bloody battles were already fought. There would have been kids, you know, 16, 17 years old, as well as much older marching across this bridge the confederates would have came across marching their way to gettysburg not knowing if they'd ever come back this way yet yet alone seeing their uh their friends their family again and uh you know not many of them did make it back across this bridge so uh most of uh robert e lee's northern virginia army marched across this bridge and a lot of them didn't make it back so imagine coming back here on a hot summer day in july you know pouring sweat people with wounds, stretchers being carried across this bridge. Just probably an awful sight. I mean, this whole bridge was probably blood covered, including the uh, three bodies hanging from the bridge. So definitely paints a, a different picture as peaceful it is, as it is today. You know, you can imagine hearing cannon fire in the background, uh, guns going off, horses, you name it. So definitely, uh, definitely a, different, a different world now. So. It's pretty much going to wrap up this video here from Saks Cover Bridge. Considered the most historic bridge in Pennsylvania as well as, I'm guessing, one of the most haunted if you're into those kind of things. So yeah, one last look at the town trust system. We'll see if we can maybe find another one of these in Pennsylvania here in the coming years. So if you like this video, please uh, hit that subscri subscribe button if you aren't already. We're going to have a lot more covered bridge episodes coming out here in the future give the video a like if you could and check me out over on facebook and instagram for some sneak peeks at future videos coming out all right guys signing out here from gettysburg and Saks cover bridge